there, my little kitty kids. It's me, Kitty, K-I-D-I. -I. And today, hi there, we have the Super Dinosaur back. And we're going back in time. Let me introduce you to our ancestors, because before we became what we are today, humans had to evolve, both physically by standing up straight up, and intellectually by discovering and ooh, inventing, wait, no, I discovered that, even more things. So I hope you're ready. Let's go. Hey, what are you doing over there? What's that? Oh, well, that must be the first I rock. Now, life back then was incredibly harsh and just difficult, but everything changed when humans managed to master fire. At first, they needed to recover it out of natural events, like a forest fire. But eventually, they learned how to make their own. And I'll show you how. Come on. Hi, Elena. Hi, Kitty. So, Elena here is going to show us how they used to make fire. Because at first, what they did is they took two sticks, dry pieces of wood, and rubbed them together, and eventually it would make fire. But then they'd find out that by striking flint against a rock, it would make sparks which would ignite some hay. Isn't that awesome? So small. This here is the Australopithecus. They were apes and evolved to stand up straight in order to see above the tall grass. They weren't very tall, as you can see, only one meter twenty. They did communicate, but not with words. They, well, grunted. <laughs> Australopithecus evolved into Homo habilis. He was the first real man who used tools made out of sticks and stones. Ooh, fancy. This here is Homo erectus. He stood tall and strong. He was a very, very good hunter and even mastered fire. Isn't that awesome? Oh, wait. This here is a Neanderthal man or a Cro-Magnon man. Both are different, very different. They are cousin of modern man. Cro-Magnon man was a very good hunter, well, at least he had very good hunting tools, but most importantly, he wore clothes in order to keep warm in the winter. And then, of course, came the last one. Homo sapiens. Hi there, how are you? Now, Homo sapiens means the one who knows, and he invented art, sculptures, 
painting and mathematics. He is modern man. Wow. Now, in those days, humans didn't know how to build houses, so they had to find shelter in caves. It's dark, it's cold, it's wet, and I really don't like it here. But it was very important to find a shelter from, first of all, other creatures, and also the weather. Now, just like you, cavemen didn't like the dark, because it's very scary, after all. You never know what's lurking in the shadows. <laughs> well, all these discoveries are making me, well, angry. I mean, no, I, I don't see any pizza places or bakeries around. I wonder what they ate back then. Well, they did a lot of foraging, which provided some of the food, but most of it came from Hunting. Hey, my little kitty kids. It's impressive how humankind has evolved over time. They hunted a lot for clothes and meat and one of their favorite preys was the mammoth. Come on, let's go see him. The woolly mammoth was four meters tall and weighed four tons. Wow! It's a distant relative to today's elephant. Just like the elephant, it has a trunk. And it also has five meters long tusks. Hey there! Now, unlike the elephant, it had a thick woolen coat and two centimeter thick skin and a 10 centimeter thick layer of fat. Wow! He was hunted for its wool, for his tusks and also, of course, his meat. Mammoths disappeared 4,000 years ago. However, we found a nearly intact one in the icy Siberia. Wow, I really like him with his big tusks. Now, he often crossed paths with another furry animal. Let's look at him. Now, this here is the woolly rhinoceros. It was 3.5 meters long and weighed 2.5 tons. That's about two cars. It was also nicknamed the Siberian unicorn because it has two big, ow, horns. <laughs> ow, I stung myself. Now, this guy could withstand freezing temperature thanks to its wool coat. He was also hunted by two formidable predators the Neanderthal man and Cro-Magnon man. But come with me, there's another animal that you might have heard of. <laughs> now this is a cave bear. He was a 3.5 meter long bear and weighed 450 kilos. Hello there! And he was bigger than the current grizzly bear. However, he only ate fruits and vegetables. So he was more on the teddy side of things. Yes, you were. <laughs> yes, you were. He often fought with cavemen to find a nice cave in which to settle in for the winter. However, in those times, it wasn't just gentle creatures, quite the opposite. There were some fearsome creatures, some monsters, which were not afraid of man. Quite the opposite. Let me introduce you to one of them. Now, 
This is the Smilodon. The Smilodon was a fearsome feline, which measured up to 2.5 meters long and weighed 300 kilos. It was also nicknamed the saber-toothed tiger because he had two immense saber teeth instead of its canine teeth <laughs> and its prey had little chance of making it out alive. <laughs> nice cat, nice, everything's crying in this. You know what, let's go see how prehistoric man is doing. Yeah, yeah, that would be nice. Yeah, yeah, It's a lovely color you got there, but I'm really not sure what it's supposed to be. I don't understand. And are you sure about the perspective on that one? It looks a bit off. Just like artists today, cavemen used to paint on the walls of their caves just to tell stories. It hasn't really changed. And they used their fingers, food stamps, vegetable stamps, and brushes made out of, well, leaves, and also moss, charcoal, and twigs. Isn't that cool? They're also, for colors, used colored earth, soft stones like clay or ochre, and crushed up plants. Isn't that neat? All they needed left was a bit imagination. Look at that. Thank you for your time. It was lovely meeting you. Oh, thank you for everything. I love what you did with your hair. It's really nice. Thank you for everything. Really, really, you were perfect. Oh, and of course, the best for last. Thank you. Okay. Ready, set.